Hey everybody, welcome back to American History with Mr. Finn. Today we, uh, we have finished up the war, uh, the American Revolution. Now we're going to talk about the effects of the revolution. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going to happen after it. However, to put the final pieces of the puzzle together, uh, we can pick up where we left off with the Treaty of Paris. So for our notes, the Treaty of Paris is going to be, um, this is going to be what ends the revolution. What ends the revolution is going to be the Treaty of Paris. Uh, when you have an end to a war, you are going to have uh, the two sides come together. They make agreements. They say, okay, we're going to stop fighting. The war is over. We have been defeated or we won. What do we get? Um, and you, you figure out how the end of the war is going to work and who's going to get what. Um, and so in the American Revolution, the treaty, which means is the, is the actual paperwork, the agreement like the, between the two sides, uh, the Treaty of Paris uh, is going to be the agreements that the, uh, the American colonists now, the American <laughs> free people, uh, and the English are going to come to. Um, remember, we ended the battle at Yorktown. Um, England had to ride off. Uh, but now we're looking at what, after this is over, what are we left with here in America? And one of those things is, what were the civilians like? Because now people aren't soldiers, now we are civilians. So what is it like for the people now that the revolution is over? Uh, and it's, it's not great uh, as it starts. If you were a civilian, uh, you would be a man or a woman, you would be facing something called this. Something called inflation is when prices go up. Prices go woo, way, way up. So when you have inflation, prices are artificially high. So let's take, for example, you go to Taco Bell and you buy something for that you would normally get for $7. And then tomorrow it's like, I got the same thing yesterday for $7, but now you're asking for $14? That's crazy. Why am I going to spend more money on something I just got? And they're like, well, inflation, the prices have gone up. Uh, in times like this, a lot of times after wars and after big events, you see a period of inflation uh, and the price is going up. There's a question at this point, you know, what is our money worth? Is it paper money? Is it coin money? Um, and, and so if people lose faith in money, um, that could also be a big cause, which was going on at this time. Because if you were a person and this new United States was like, hey, we'll give you some paper money. It's like, well, is this really valuable? How do I know? If you think about it, money is just paper. It's based on the faith that you have in that country or in that uh, you know, empire in the past. So uh, inflation is going to hit for these people. If prices go up, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Yes, it is a bad thing. So the civilians are facing um, not a great outlook. A lot of times because we were so based in farming and agriculture, a lot of civilians are actually going to be losing, losing homes. And in this case, they're homes uh, slash farms. So imagine if you were one of these people and you were like, hey, I just fought in the American Revolution. I helped get the English out of here. And then I come home and they're like, well, sorry, you lost your farm. You have no house now. Uh, prices are going up. It's like, what did I fight for? It's so much worse now. So a lot of civilians after this war, it's not looking good. Another group, the Native Americans. Native Americans are in a bad spot as well. Most of the Native Americans viewed the British to at least be not pushing us further into the country. Um, so a lot of Native American groups sided with the British. Now that the British are no longer here, that means that the Native Americans are dealing with this, these Americans now, and these Americans, because uh, we're not quite the United States of America yet, right after the war, uh, are going to immediately say, hey, let's get, let's get west. There's more land there. I can get my farm. I can get a new farm. I can, I can do all of these things. So what's going to happen, unfortunately, for the Native Americans? Uh, Native Americans are going to be uh, pushed. Uh, I'm going to use the actual direction. They're going to be pushed west. Well, you look at a map at a certain time, and we'll just see how we keep moving west as a country. Um, and so they're going to be pushed off their land. Eventually, the, we're going to start to see something called these. Um, 
we're going to start to see things called reservations, uh, which are places that Native Americans are forced to live on. And uh, so the, the outlook for both the everyday American and the everyday Native American are not looking great because we really weren't ready for this end of the war. One, it happened quickly. We, we didn't really have plans as to what we were going to do. How is our country going to look? What kind of country are we going to have? What kind of government are we going to have? Uh, we're going to see our founding fathers have to come through and put this country together. Uh, but they're going to be facing a lot of things. So uh, initially, a lot of people were really excited. But the question is now, what's next, as I've said before? What's next with all this? If you were a person living back then, I was like, great. <laughs> I was on board. Let's, let's go. Let's get the English out of here. Now that it has happened, it's not looking great. So, hey, what's next, guys? The founding fathers who we've talked about, Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin, uh, George Washington and all of these guys, Alexander Hamilton. Uh, how are you going to make this all right? How are you going to, how, what are we doing? What are we looking at? Uh, and so next class we're going to get into uh, exactly what ideas our founding fathers had. So what is the start of the United States of America? How does it look? Uh, what ideas do they come up with? Uh, but today what I want you to do is have this turned into me. Uh, just show me the notes that you took because this will be used for your uh, quizzes. Might ask you what inflation is. Um, so with the Treaty of Paris. So uh, on that note, make sure you turn that in today. And next class we'll start to look at putting together the government or the actual country of the United States of America. So again, get this into the day uh, and I'll see you next class.